What's up guys, Kyle Murla here. Welcome to Unwrap, presented by murphysmagic.com. What's up guys, happy Saturday. How are you? How's it going? I hope it's good. I uh, hope your Saturday is doing good. Let's get into it, shall we? This week on Unwrapped, we have two products and they are, I don't know why I did that, sorry. <laughs> um, Simplex Monty by Rob Bromley with Routines and Handlings by Peter Nardi and David Loosely. Uh, and uh, the Pocket Bazaar by Peter Ignite. Ignite? Ignite. Ignite. Peter's a really cool guy, but I've never been able to say his last name. So uh, with the, let's start out with the live performance of that, shall we? Pocket Bazaar. Uh, all right, John, so you picked a card, the Joker. You signed your name on it, right? You could have yeah. picked any of these. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna try something. Let me put the marker away. Actually, John, before we before we do that, it's important that you uh, you take a look at my butt. Okay. Okay. Uh, you check it out. Look, see nothing here besides a fine fine piece of man is what's there. In, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> very awkward. I'm sorry, John. You p you picked the Joker, right? You could have picked. You signed it, right? Uh, we're gonna try something here. Um, watch, Joker. Watch. Ready? Goes right here in the middle. Comes right back to the top. Can mm -hmm. I get a no way? <laughs> uh, apparently no way. <laughs> My voice is gone. It's hard. It's okay. Oh, uh, this time I'm gonna do it. But this time I don't want to touch it. You go ahead and just tap it in there for me. Hmm. Oh, what? The? No. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. <laughs> ah, see, I'm like a ninja. I'm quick. Okay, this time watch. This time I'll show you how it works. See, we, we put a bend in it because if you see the bend, you uh -huh. can see if it's on top. Does uh, that make okay. sense, right? Because if you, if I'm cheating, which I totally am, by the way. Yeah. Well, see it? Watch. Okay. Watch, Eddie. See, so it goes right back to the top. <laughs> hey, watch this time. Watch, we take it. Watch. Okay. See, if it vanishes. Like, my hands are empty. Remember how a second ago I kind of showed you my uh -huh. backside? Just this out, look, in my back pocket. You see the card? Yeah. Watch. What was your card again? The Joker, yeah? Joker. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> How am I Joker? Joker? All right, all right, all right. That was Pocket Bazaar and Matthew McConaughey. Pocket Bazaar uh, by Peter Ignit, 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 Inks, Ignit. Uh, and uh, that's the effect. Uh, basically, uh, let's start out first with the packaging. You get this nice DVD packaging. Um, DVD's uh, well produced. Uh, I thought it was fine. Everything was good about it. Um, and then you get the gimmick. The gimmick is pretty cool. It's a custom designed um, gimmick. Uh, this is not something that you would just be able to um, kind of like whip up. You know, it's not like um, he's not selling you anything that you already have, basically. So uh, he took the time out to uh, design a gimmick that allows you to do the effect, uh, and it's not like uh, a thumb tip, you know. So that's nice. Uh, second of all, uh, let's talk about the effect. The effect itself, if you couldn't tell in the performance, uh, was a signed card to pocket, but it was an incredibly clean signed card to pocket because. You can show your, uh, you can have someone pick a card, sign it. They're holding on to it still, which I think that's important to say because they're holding on to it so they know it's not in your pocket because they got it in their hand. With your hands up, you turn around slowly. And you, this is kind of the awkward part. You have to have them look at your butt and they can see there's nothing sticking out of your pocket. You come around very cleanly. You would take the card. You can do an ambitious card routine, whatever you would like. You then very cleanly Hands up still, show now that there is a playing card sticking out of your pocket, very cleanly, take it out, hand it to them, and it's their exact signed card. And that's exactly how it looks and is to the audience. So it's very clean, very straightforward. There is no um, suspicion. If you're watching the demo to it and you're like suspicious if that's how clean it looks, that's exactly how clean it works. Very, very, very clean. Uh, so let's talk about, let's uh, start with the gimmick and you know the practicality of it. Uh, it this is very practical, very practical. Uh, what's nice is that this gimmick can go into any clothing, uh, any form of clothing. 
Uh, I did it with jeans, but this will work in shorts or pants, you know, any type of pants or anything like that. As long as it has pockets, that's all you need. Uh, so you can't really, probably, you can use like sweatpants unless they have pockets or something like that. But you shouldn't perform in sweatpants. This, you know, shouldn't do a show in sweatpants. Um, the other thing what's nice is that this can be done with other things besides cards. It can do with money and, and business cards and any uh, very, you know, very, any flat, thin object that belongs in your pocket or in, in that scenario can, uh, can work, okay? Um, to perform the routine, very easy to do. Like super duper easy. Uh, like really, really easy. There's, it's not hard whatsoever. Uh, Peter goes over multiple different uh, routines for you. Uh, teaches you multiple different handlings. I just did like the basic one because I thought, you know, that's all it needed really. Um, so all in all, the product is good. Uh, I have a few uh, notes, I guess, on it. So the uh, my notes would be, um, so there's a few things. Uh, one, uh, it took me a while, not a while, but it took me a little bit. And I mean, magic, I mean, this is kind of a silly note because we're supposed to practice magic. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get a new thing and you're like, oh my gosh, Pocket Bazaar, this is amazing. And then you do it and you're like, oh, okay, this is good. I, I did it for one minute, I'm ready to go. I'm, su I'm sure most of you don't talk like that, but you should practice your magic for more than an hour <laughs> and before you go out and perform it. Like, practice your magic, guys. Like, just do it. Don't, don't buy magic for the sake of just learning the secret and then going to show someone and potentially messing it up. Practice, that's what you do, okay? Uh, so you should practice this because not that it's hard, it's not hard in any way, but the gimmick can be a little finicky, a little finicky, uh, if you just don't practice. Like if you don't know what you're doing uh, or if you don't do it properly, uh, it, you can't, you know, you might mess it up. It might not uh, fully work. Um, the other thing, uh, that this is not a bad note or anything, but this is just a note in general. Uh, th this is, it, it, it works, the gimmick works so well that I had a hard time when I was practicing and even when I was performing it for a couple people, uh, to know when it has already worked. So I show my, my butt, I show that there's no card there. I turn around, I do the secret thing and I, I couldn't tell if it had worked. So then I was a little hesitant uh, to, to turn back around because I wanted to make sure it worked. But then you don't want to put your hand in your pocket because then it's like, well, that just ruins the, the point of the effect. Because I couldn't feel it because it delivers it so well that I, was, I couldn't, I didn't know. So I think that just comes down to just practicing and, and, and knowing the details and, and, uh, and um, just having trust, faith in the gimmick. Uh, and if, you know, if it doesn't work, then you can just do a normal card in the pocket. And that's my other note, is that this is very good. I like that it can work with other things besides bills and, and well, besides cards, like you can do with bills or your car, business cards or anything like that. But in the end result, it's kind of, you know, it's a card to pocket, you know, for the most part. There's other routines on here, but it's like a card to pocket, you know, and I've done cards the pockets with just a basic side of hand move in the past and it, I think it works just as well. It doesn't mean it's better, but it works just as well. So point being that this is perfect. And it's also, this is super perfect if you don't do side of hand or if you want, I mean, this is like the cleanest one because I mean, so each one has its pros and cons, I guess is what I'm saying. Because if I was just to do a card the pocket with palming, I couldn't show my, 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 my pocket, turn around, turn around, and now it's there. That's really the advantage of this compared to a normal card, the pocket, because normally I would have to say, trade out, look, in my pocket, card. They don't see anything happen, you know, so there, it loses some magic. So this gains a little bit of magic. So it really comes up to you what your preferences are. Do you want to enhance your magic? Because this is what this is doing, is enhancing your card, the pocket. If you already do a card in the pocket and you're satisfied, it might not be for you, but this is, this is enhancing your magic, which is always important, I think, because sometimes we get stuck, you know, we learn a classic like card to pocket and we think it's fine and we think it's fine. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden something like this comes along and it enhances it. And we should, you know, you should really jump on that uh, once, you, once you see it, you know? So that's my thoughts on pocket bizarre. Now we're gonna do a live performance of Simplex Monty. And 
When I say we're gonna do a live performance, I'm actually gonna perform it for you guys right here on camera. And the reason being is I've done Unwrapped for 28 episodes now, and I've worked and consulted for some of the biggest TV magicians in the world. And I've never, ever had a hard time performing magic for people on the street and filming them. Never. I've never had a problem with it whatsoever. Well, when I went out and tried to shoot this and Pocket Bazaar, it was the most awful, awful, awful thing I can explain to you. It was so awful. Everyone was jerks to me. I totally got kicked out of Denny's. Here's a clip. So um, I just got kicked out of Denny's for attempting to do a magic trick to uh, a spectator. So uh, now we're gonna go to Starbucks and try to do magic tricks because apparently that waitress was not a fan of magic. But I'm adorable. Why didn't she, why, look at me. How can you say no to this face? It's all right. Totally got kicked out of Denny's. I went to, and the bad thing is I've shot in that Denny's, if you watch Unwrapped, I've shot there like six times. Never had a problem with it. Manager's always great. But this one waitress was like, you're soliciting, get out of here, you punk. Uh, I mean, she didn't call me punk, but like she was just super mean. And people at Starbucks was rude. And I was frustrated. And then Bizarro was making fun of me. And I hated it. So now I'm going to just perform this trick for you guys. So it's still a real world reaction, but you're just going to have to react at home. So I'm assuming every time I perform this, like, you know, do some, one part of the trick, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I, I'm gonna stop talking now. All right, guys, we're gonna play kind of a street game, a Monty game, because you know, I'm super thug. <laughs> it involves four cards, uh, three jokers and a queen of spades. So we can give these a bit of a mix. But the thing is, it's four cards, that's a lot to follow. That's a, that's a lot to follow, it's four objects. So to make it easier on you, I will get rid of one of the jokers. Okay, I'm gonna just make it easy on you. I, I'm a nice guy. Put one of those jokers over here in my pocket. So now we have three cards left. Very simple, very direct, easy to follow. You're gonna, you're, you got this, okay? So watch, three cards. We're gonna mix them up just a little bit. Put them in a nice display here for you. Make it very easy. You have the joker, queen, joker. Joker, queen, joker. If you had to bet money, watch very cleanly. If you had to bet money, where would you say the, the queen is? You have a joker, queen, joker, joker, queen, joker. Where would you say the queen is? Right here in the middle. See, that's how they get you. They tried to help you, but really that was actually a joker. So that you lose, that was, you lose. That was how that, how that sorry, game over, you lose. You owe me 20 bucks. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna do it one more time because you know, look at me, I'm a nice guy. Uh, so very cleanly, only three cards, very cleanly. We're gonna display them very easily right here so you can follow along. You have the joker, Queen, Joker, Joker, Queen, Joker. Uh, this time I'll make it easy for you. We're gonna even take the Queen and we're just rotate it just a little bit so you know where it's at. Where would you say Joker, Queen, Joker? Where would you say it's at? Joker, where, right here? Right here in the middle? See, that's how they get you again. See, that's a Joker that you lose. I'm sorry. This game is not fun, is it? It's, you know, it's not like Monopoly. It's, you know, this is real money. Okay, so uh, one more time. Mix it up. Very simple. Very direct. Uh, check it out. Joker, Queen, Joker. If you had to guess, where was the queen? Where's the queen? I'll even face off for you. Where's the queen? Right here in the middle. Uh, here, watch. You can just go like that and actually the queen visibly vanishes right here, over here in my pocket. It's the queen. You owe me a lot of money. So that was like 80 bucks. What's that? What, 60 bucks? 80 bucks? Let's just call it 100. And uh, there you go. All right. So that was Simplex Monty by Bob Bromley. Rob, sorry. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> dyslexic. Uh, <laughs> Rob Bromley, yes, with Routines by Peter Nardi and David Loosely. Uh, so you saw a live performance to you guys, directly to you. I just did that for you guys, nobody else. Uh, so as you can see, it's actually a really good Monty. Like just, it, I like the name of Simplex Monty because it's very simple and direct. I mean, you saw it, it was visual, very easy to follow. There wasn't anything confusing about it, but I'm gonna talk more about that. But first, packaging is you get this nice uh, flap DVD case. Uh, cards come here, DVD comes here. They're all downstairs after I learned this. Um, and so that's that's all I really have to say about that. The production is wonderful, just like most of Alakazam's stuff. Um, 
uh, everywhere they shoot is really nice. I want to know where this building is, this manor uh, that they said uh, in the video, because I, I really want to go there because it's in all, all their videos and it looks beautiful uh, and really pretty. And I want to I want to go there. So Peter, hook a brother up, y'all. Uh, so yeah, it's really great. Um, the production is wonderful, well lit. Uh, the sound was a little quiet on this DVD and compared to the most, and maybe it was just me, I don't know. Um, point being, good. The gimmicks you get, uh, you get uh, three cards uh, and one of them is gimmicked and you have to supply one of your own cards, just like a, a duplicate from a normal deck. Uh, and the gimmick is very well made, uh, very, very well made. Um, and I'm not gonna go into like, why it's well made, but it's well made. And the routine uh, that they teach, they teach a few different styles and a few different handlings. Uh, and all of them are very simple to perform, very simple to perform. And uh, each one has its perks and its weaknesses. Uh, the one that I performed for you guys, very simple, easy to do. Uh, and it's, it's, just, it's, it's just the name of the thing, it's simple. Like that's what I really like about it is that it was clean and direct. Uh, there have been many Monty's where it gets very confusing and convoluted and you have to like, all of a sudden there's a corner, there's a card with a bit corner and you mix them up so fast they can't fall along. Like this one, very simple. You show three cards, spread them, show where the queen is, turn over, take that card out. Instantly it's not that card. And then you do it again, do it again, and then you, as a finale, you can have it appear somewhere else, or you could do, you know, whatever you want. So, uh, very good, really big fan of it. I don't have too much to say. Uh, the only note I like about this, the, the, the best thing I like about this, is that you, you can make this your own. That's the greatest part. It's like, you know, the, the, what I performed for you was kind of just some fun stuff that I was playing around with. That wasn't even really a full routine on the DVD. Some of it was. Uh, but like, that's the greatest thing about this is that this, very good because you can really take it and add your own presentation, add some of your own moves to it or your own, you know, changes to it. Um, it's just really good. I really don't have anything else to say because I was very happy with this. Uh, very happy with this uh, uh, product. So that was Simplex Monty. All right guys, so that was Unwrapped. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was fun for you. Thanks for watching every week. And if you've ever watched Unwrapped, you know every single week we give away each week's prizes. And how you do that, how you uh, enter the contest, if you will, is you have to subscribe to this channel. Just go up and click subscribe to this channel, Murphy's Magic, and commented on last week's video with Tommy what you liked and what you didn't like about both of those uh, products. And they were, once again, Risk 4 by Risca Nada, right? And uh, Hannibal, The Truth From a Liar, The Two to Set. And the winner of this week's prizes, I just happen to have here, is I, IU Crew 88. IU Crew 88, congratulations, man, or girl. Uh, congratulations. Go to uh, Murphy's Magic, facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies. Shoot me a message, and I will get both these prizes out to you. Congratulations. Uh, and if you would like to win this week's prizes, which, once again, was Pocket Bazaar in Simplex Monty, do the exact same thing. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel and comment below. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about both these prizes. And next week, we will pick a random winner. And it could be you. It could be you. Uh, before I let you guys go, I wanted to mention a couple things. Uh, one, MagicCon is coming up less than 10 days away. Uh, we're very excited. I've never been before. Actually, it's almost less than five days away. Uh, is it five days? I think it's five days away. And I'm very excited to go. So if you're gonna be there, uh, comment below. Tell me you're gonna be there. Come meet up with us. The Murphy's crew will be there. Me and Eric Jones will be there. We're, we, Eric and I, we're looking for some good magic. Uh, we would love to see what new magic you are working on. So come up and show us. And then second of all, if you're thinking about going to MagicCon, but you haven't bought your registration yet, What's really cool is, I don't know if you guys know this, but as you can see, I'm a, I like my decks of cards. Uh, and every year, MagicCon designs a custom deck, like a custom limited edition deck for MagicCon. And you get one deck with your registration. So these decks become really rare and, and not a lot of people, you know, they still go on eBay for like $100 and stuff like that. But here's the cool thing. So if you register for MagicCon from a Murphy's Magic dealer, 
you actually get two limited edition decks with your registration. So when you go register, you get your sack or your, you know, whatever, and you get two decks inside. So you can open up one and enjoy it, save the other one or sell it or whatever you want to do. So that's really cool. So if you purchase it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer, just call up your dealer or wherever you buy Magic from, be like, hey, you Murphy's Magic dealer? They're gonna be like, yeah. And then you register for Magic on. That's all you gotta do. Very simple, very fun. You get two decks of cards. So you could keep one, give me the other, because we're friends, right friend? Let's give it. So I'll see you guys next week.